My name is Keir Gordon. I head up the sports practice here at Charles Russell. We are sponsoring and hosting today's summit. Well, we as a law firm see with the clients that we're working in the sport and our corporate clients are seeing that the whole area of corporate social responsibility in sport is growing in importance. So in the work we're doing, we recognize it's important for us to be involved from our client's perspective, particularly with the work we're doing in sport. been a wonderful awareness of brands, what they do, and how they see CSR and how they implement that strategy within their day-to-day -day business practices. And uh, obviously, you know, myself speaking on behalf of Kick It Out, our relationship with Ford and how they incorporate CSR is an intrinsic part of their core activities. And I think that's very, very important. I think where Ford are concerned, you know, they understand that that CSR is an intricate part of their delivery. And I think that's very, very important as opposed to it just being surplus and give that away. No, it's actually ingrained, it's woven into their fabric, into their ethos. And I think once you've got that kind, that's for me, the real meaning of CSR, that it actually the same ethics, they're very ethical, you know, and it's a fixture and fitting part of their business of giving back to the community. I hope they realise sustainability is very important and it's not just about CSR because you have excess, it's about CSR, an intricate part of your practices, your customs and actually recognising the value that you're doing to your business as a consequence of giving back to the community. question is, it's great that there's a lot of conversation and talk, but does that turn into action? So I think, you know, we talk about crowdsourcing a lot. I think the next development is what I call action sourcing. So are we actually using social media to get people to do something, whether it's give money, like to the disaster relief in Japan, or it's actually to go and volunteer and do something in your local community, or translate your brand benefit and proposition into some activation that's not only going to help the world, um, but also is going to help the local community and, frankly, the marketing of your brand.
us, I mean, I think it's, a, it's one of those conferences that I think is really important for my organisation. It's a fantastic networking opportunity, but also some of the speakers there, have, uh, I think you've got to keep your mind open to the industry. And, you know, we become a little bit tunnel visioned at times in terms of what we do. It's, I think it's a great um, sort of uh, conference to come along and see what other people are doing and how what they're doing might impact on my own business. I think once you've retired, it's different. But when you're playing and, a, and a demands on players' times and you know not just commitments from you know from the playing, but from sponsors and from from the club, it's quite difficult. So I think their impact's only probably more measurable when they retire from the game than it is during the game. I mean, they obviously have that wow factor when they turn up to events, but to ask them to really sort of you know, take that on board 365 days a year during their career, I think it's quite difficult. topics that are brought up today and being in the room with so many individuals who are experts in CSR and so many corporations who are putting their, their money where their mouth is is very very important and I think you know the more engagement we can have with professional sports professional athletes as well as corporations um, and, and diff different social organizations and NGOs the better and you know all together we can we can continue to to, to make social and CSR pushes throughout the world. Oh, when I started, you know, a lot of guys definitely, you know, had interest on giving back, and, you know, and, and, and began to do their own foundations. I think, you know, at the core of the issue, though, you know, there was really no template for it, and there, and there still really isn't a, a solid template uh, and people with, with deep, deep expertise on CSR. You know, it's, 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 it's new across the board. It's new for corporations. It's new for sports, you know. And, and so, you know, with that, you're going to continue to see, you know, an, an increased level of involvement, and, and also you're going to see a lot of progress being made uh, in, in, in that sector. Um, from my point of view, you know, whenever you're blessed with so much at such a young age and you're given the opportunity uh, to be a role model and to, and to really be a citizen that, you know, people look up to not only for your athletic ability but as more of an icon. And so, you know, it comes with an obligation to me. You know, it, it, it goes back to what a person's motivation is. And, you know, whenever you're blessed with so much and you're given so much opportunity, um, it's really your responsibility to give back because if, if you don't give back in that situation, then who will? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think, you know, especially for a professional sports athlete, you're put on such a pedestal. And so many kids in the communities embrace you and love you. And really the people that are passionate about you are those individuals that, that need your help. And so, you know, as a, as a human, uh, I think it's our obligation. Um, from the athlete's perspective, I tell guys all the time, you just continue to do what's right and, and continue to try to build, you know, strong alliances and strong foundations within your community. And, you know, eventually that will change. Uh, you're going to always, people are going to always, you know, look for negative when it comes to the media, from a me media perspective. But I think, you know, as, if, as long as we can continue to have real social movements and create those partnerships, which are key. You know, if you start partnering with the brands and the, and, the, and the corporations that are really putting the money behind sports, they have no choice but to cover it and follow it. Um, right now, it's just, you know, like I said before, it's just the beginning. And so hopefully it will continue to evolve. You know, and athletes and sports teams and, and corporations will continue to work together. And, and it will be no, no, no other option but to really expose the good things that are going on.